In this video I'm going to show you how to create this flare skirt. The reason why I've chosen the flare skirt is because there are a few things we need to look at when we're creating garments. It is much easier when you're drawing a garment to first create the full silhouette shape and then to add the flare to it. Trying to add the flare to it while you're drawing actually looks quite unnatural. It also gives us a good understanding of how to understand where the flare comes from. So I'll just draw the flare for you. I've got white in the stroke and I'm just coming to my line segment tool and just show you how the fullness of the skirt sits. So it sits either side of the design line. So we can see here where all of that fullness is added. And this is what we're going to do when we draw. We're going to create the shape first as if we were working on a basic block or a basic pattern shape. And then we're going to add our design lines or our drape lines, our design lines, and then add the fullness to the skirt. So we'll start with that first. We can see over here that the skirt is just slightly above the waist. We can tell that by the way that it's curved on the side. The um, skirt is fitted to the high hip or just at the top of the hip bone and then it will come probably to above the knee. So let's have a look at that over here. So I find it easier if I just bring in a guideline to where I think my skirt will end. So I think it's probably a little bit higher than above the knee. So probably about sort of just below mid thigh to here. And as per usual, I'll drag my pen tools out. So what I'll do is I'll start drawing. So I draw, start just above the waist because it's above the waist. Click to the side seam, click. And then I just put a little bit of shape in there, come to the hip, a little bit more shape, and then out to the side and to the center front. So I'm really just using that guideline over there as a guide. I'll draw the style line in, so this line over here, and I'm going to start outside my shape because I need to have this line outside the shape for when I'm sh doing using my shape builder later. So there we have that shape. I will change the color of this line because it's the same as the guide, as the um, highlight color and it's not going to be easy to see. So let's just change that to blue. So I've got my basic shape now and I'm going to now mirror and copy it, transform, reflect, make sure that it's vertical, copy. Hold shift, drag that across and you can snap to point if you can. Direct selection, hotkey A or keyboard shortcut A, white arrow, average, OK, join, done. At the bottom, average and join. Now I'll just reshape my waistline and my hemline. So holding shift, I reshape that. Convert anchor point tool, holding shift, I reshape that. And now we're ready to add our drape lines into here. So I'm using the line segment tool. And I'll start by just adding a drape line either side of the design line and I'll do a couple in the center. I'll change the color of those drape lines. So what I've done is I've selected everything and then to deselect the skirt and the design line I've just held shift and gone over that again and we'll change those lines to green. So zooming into the hem, the next thing that I did was added anchor points kind of in line with the drape lines.
and I deleted the center anchor point because we don't need that anymore. I've gone to convert anchor point tool and watch how when I'm dragging my convert anchor point tool at the moment with this first anchor point I'm dragging it to the left the next one I'll drag up to the left so that one I drag down this one up this one will be down so basically what I'm doing is just doing it in the opposite direction each time I'll align my drape lines with this now so I'm aligning my drape lines with the actual edge of the fold zooming out and I will now go to default black and white over there we can see that this drape line this design line went to the back so arrange bring to front and essentially that's almost done the only thing that I need to do now is put the backings in so you see how I do have because I've got so much drape coming forward get going around like that I can put it backing in quite easily so pen tool I click onto the edge of the fold going back and then I follow the drape line and we'll put the default black and white in there and I will put a grey in there X to toggle oh. arrange centre back so there we have that little drape line there and I'll do that with the rest of them as well so from the furthest corner of that fold back following the drape line close the shape fold back drape line close the shape I've gone back to my selection tool hold shift to pick up each of those drapes arrange center back now it's always good to just drape to group certain parts of your of your style together so I'm going to group all the drape shadows and then I'm going to group the the design lines or the drape lines I'm going to change them to black change them to 0.5 and group them and now we're almost ready to finish this style off so we'll just copy that because we want to do the back as well so I'm using Alt and just moving that to the side all I need to do here is just select that center anchor point and move that up and we are ready now to add to shape area tool so I select the back of the skirt and the drape lines with my selection tool I click on to my add to shape I might just make that like that I'll click on to my shape builder tool and over here I'll put another color into the fill whilst I'm in shape builder and you see when I click onto the center when I rest my mouse in the center there's a deep shadow there if I click onto that now what that will do is turn it into a panel so now each of these sides are separate panels and I can delete the bit of line that's overhanging I'll do the same with the back shape builder and I'll put a yellow in the fill and a black in the stroke I'm in shape builder and I'll just click onto the center to change the color we'll group the skirt so group just the panels 
and then group everything together. And copy the back skirt back behind that style. Arrange center back. And there we have that draped skirt. So the salient points there is to create your full shape first, to put in your design lines, to then put in your drape lines, and then add the little bit of flair at the bottom of the skirt before you go to Shape Builder and divide that skirt up. You make a copy of it to create the back and then we go into Shape Builder and divide the skirt up using the design lines.